Oh, look at Fred's board. Fits in the element 93 mast or something. And that's my old board bag. It works perfect. If you have a 42 inch bag, it's like exactly the right size. That's <laughs> go foil. It's fun. All right, here's the board. Check it out. Hope craft. Oh. Gonna have some riding. So this is good. I gotta hurry up. <laughs> Facts take two. It's 103. It's the length 44. 4.4 deep, probably at the deepest part. I'm guessing it's right here. 15 liters. That's perfect for me. We're sitting on underneath the water. Just enough float to stick on me, and I'm pretty fat, so lighter guys will be better. Let's see here, bottom, just different than the dwarf craft. I think it feels straighter through here, and it's a little shorter. I can't remember what the dwarf craft has for volume, but this is perfect. I love that. Track, pretty normal, set good enough for this guy. I was saying this go foil, this track works great. And this, this is really more like a wing setup. The mass is pretty far forward. So I got the track all the way back to try to get that cane thing, you know, the deal. Center lift is, so your board goes flat. It's flat compared to the ground. It gives you neutral, I think, when you're like zero weight on a pump. Anyway, that's the bottom. Oh, this deck is perfect. It slips nice this way. It's got all the stuff you need. That's for me laying on it. This thing works so good laying down on it. And I love having all the track all the way out to the edge. It's got like a clamshell uh, finish. Not clamshell, but like a action. Any of these shots will help, but they're all distorted because it's a 360 camera. It's cool. I should get, wait for some sun. I think I'll have to do a part two. Plus, when there's more sun, it looks nice. Can't remember where I left off, but I think we were talking about the deck. And there it is in the light. Look at that. Shoo. That was too close. I'm sure.